This video tutorial walks you through how to install and secure a NiFi registry using client certificates. A quick example of modifying user privileges in the registry is also included at the end. First, let's download the tarball for the 0.1.0 registry release from the website. Find that here. And then let's download the tarball for the 1.5.0 NiFi toolkit. And I've downloaded those previously. And then let's just extract those files. Next, we will use the NiFi TLS toolkit to generate the necessary key store, trust store, and client certificates. In this tutorial, we're going to create certs for two users, sysadmin and test user. The sysadmin users will have full access to the registry, while test user will be configured to have only targeted access. So in the directory of your NiFi toolkit install, run the following command. So that was successful, and if you look in that target directory, you will see the following files, and then inside the local host directory, you will see these. Now let's copy over this key store and trust store files into the conf directory of your registry install. Next, we want to modify this NiFi registry.properties file with the key store and trust store properties from the NiFi.properties file that was generated by the TLS toolkit. So here is the NiFi registry.properties file, but for the one that was generated by the toolkit, let's grab those key store and trust store settings and put them where they should be on the registry side. While we're in the NiFi registry.properties file, let's modify these HTTP and HTTPS ports and hosts accordingly. In the same registry conf directory, we need to modify this authorizers.xml file by adding the sysadmin dn here to the initial admin identity in the access policy provider section as well as in the user group provider section. We can now start the registry. Let's go to a terminal in the registry install directory, run the following command. Before we access the registry UI, we need to add that certificate for sysadmin to the keychain. Go to where that file is located. And let's double click on that .p12 file. And when prompted, let's add the password. And 
And I forgot to mention there's that password that's available right with that p.12 file. So let's add to the password and add to their keychain. Now we can navigate to the registry UI in our web browser. And for this tutorial, I'm using Chrome first. Go to that URL. And when prompted, let's select the sysadmin cert. Then enter in your login keychain password. And now you can access the registry as the sysadmin. So I came in directly into this administration view, but typically the default registry URL is just localhost and their port and then NiFi registry. So if you came in here, again, as sysadmin, you have full access to the registry. So you are able to enter the settings portion and do administration, such as, you know, create a new bucket. So let's go ahead and create a new bucket called ABC in this registry. Just there, success. And you can also look at users. And currently we only have one user, sysadmin. And you can look at and see the privileges that are here for sysadmin. And as the initial admin user, all of these privileges were given by default. And since they're not editable, let's create a second user, test user, to show some of this functionality. Let's select add user, put in the DN for the test user, select add, and now that test user exists in the registry. So now we need to create a client certificate for the test user. So let's go back to the terminal and in your install directory for your toolkit, we're going to run that TLS toolkit again with this command for the test user DN. And note that the target output directory is the same for this target because we want to refer to the existing CA certificate that's already in that directory. So running that, it's successful. And if we look in that folder now, we now have a test user P12 file and password. So now we need to add the P12 file for the test user, add that cert to the keychain using this password, similar to what was done earlier for the sysadmin P12. And just to save some time, I've done that in the background. So now the next step is to use another browser. In this case, we'll use Safari to access the registry UI as test user. And now we again select the test user cert. And now we're in the registry UI as test user. Test user, unlike sysadmin, does not have access to settings. So let's change that and go back to Chrome browser. And for test user, let's change the privilege to have read only access to buckets. And this is saved automatically. So if we go back to Safari and reload the browser, now we have access to settings as test user. And if we go there, we can see that test user can see the ABC bucket that was created earlier. But if you go over to say the delete function, that is not a privilege that you have. I hope you enjoyed learning how to secure your NiFi registry. Thanks for watching.